Let's take a look at the lesson, Estimate Differences. It says, estimate the difference by rounding each number to the nearest 10 and then subtracting. 58 minus 42. So let's estimate. If we have 58, we can round that to the nearest 10 and the nearest 10 would be 60. 42 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 40. I'm going to show you why. If we have a number line, and we have 50 and 60. If we look on this number line, one, two, three. So if we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, we want to decide is this number 58 closer to 60 or closer to 50? Well, 58 would be right here. That is plenty closer to 60. So any number that ends with five or higher will round up to the next 10. Any number four or lower will round back down. So here with 42, we had 40 and 50. 41, 42, here's 42. I don't even need to draw the other dots to see that 42 is definitely closer to 40, so we're going to round back down to 40 rather than rounding up to 50. All right, so this is rounded to 60 and this is rounded to 40. Now we can say 60 minus 40 is equal to, so if we think six minus four is two, 60 minus 40 is 20. So our estimate is 20. Here we have 61 minus 42. I know 61 is plenty closer to 60, and 42 is closer to 40. So 60 minus 40 again, what was it? Yes, 20. Here we have 68 minus 45. Well, 68 is closer to 70, so we're going to round up to 70, and 45 is closer to 50, it ends with a five. So we know we're rounding up. So 70 minus 50. I think, okay, seven minus five is two, so 70 minus 50 is 20. Here we have 89, which is closer to 90, minus 49, which is closer to 50. 90 minus 50 is 40. Sixty-seven minus forty-eight. So sixty-seven rounds up to seventy. And we can subtract forty-eight rounds up to fifty. So seventy minus fifty is twenty. Seventy-seven minus thirty-five. So seventy-seven would round up to eighty. And thirty-five would round up to forty. So eighty minus forty. I know eight minus four is four, so 80 minus 40 is 40. Estimate the difference by rounding each number to the nearest 10 and then subtracting. So 75 will round up to 80 and then we will subtract 30 because 33 will round down to 30. 80 minus 30 is equal to 50. Ninety-seven minus thirty. So ninety-seven will round up to one hundred. Minus and thirty will stay thirty. That is the nearest ten. So I think ten minus three, which is seven, so one hundred minus thirty is seventy. Ninety-two will round to ninety, and then we will subtract forty because thirty-seven will round up to forty. Nine minus four is five, so 90 minus 40 is 50. All right, these ones we don't need to round. 60 is already at a 10 and 40 is already at a 10. 60 minus 40 is equal to 20. Fantastic work today, friends.